and there we got a pretty decent looking eye. Now I'm going to start adding some wrinkles to this guy. So we're going to use uh, layers, which are basically, if you use something like Photoshop or whatever, you know there's layers where you can turn them on and off. You can do the same exact thing in ZBrush with the actual geometry of the model. So we're going to do the wrinkles in two different layers. First one is going to be small wrinkles, so I'm just going to name it small wrinkles. For this, I have a custom brush I made called, which I named Wrinkle Roll. Now to make this, to make a, I will quick show you how to make it. Just start with the standard brush, which is what ZBrush opens by default, or you just find it in the menu. And for this case, we are going to use this out an alpha that comes with ZBrush, alpha 58, which is that should be down here. And it's change the stroke mode to freehand, and then in alpha, you want to change the blur to 15. And then for that brush, I have it set at an intensity of 15. And one other thing I forgot to mention for that brush, you want to have Z sub instead of Z add selected. What Z add does, it basically like with the clay buildup brush where it was adding geometry, whereas when you hold alt, it's actually switching between Z add and Z sub. Z sub takes away geometry. And if you have a brush that by default is a Z sub brush, then it'll switch to Z add when you hold down alt. To save out the brush, just click save as right here, and then you can load it in using load brush. But anyways, you want to follow the main lines of the body, the way the skin will, would flow. So around the neck, like that with the bigger brush. And as you can see, we're already getting some wrinkles in there. I'm going to bring my brush size down. Get some stuff in the throat. Since there's going to be a lot of stuff going on there. Kind of around the jaw muscle. And down the length of the jaw. And then just following the shapes of the skull. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And I don't really like what I just did there. So. Just follow along the edges of the bones and stuff like that. Just so it looks like it's flowing nicely. This is going to be largely covered up later on by scales. Just around the jaw. Just make sure everything flows nicely into each other. And finally between the horns and up the horns and around the nose and I'm going to add some smaller ones down here just for more consistency on the face and some right here and there you should have that layer done now we're going to add big wrinkles, the main wrinkles that you're going to see. For this I also have another custom brush, I just call it big wrinkles. For this, start with the standard brush, have it as a freehand stroke. In the alphas, you just want to use alpha 1. And then in brush, under depth, there is this gravity strength, just set that to 30. This will make it so it droops a little bit. And then you just want to start drawing in the main wrinkles. There should be a wrinkle there. I'm going to get that one a little bigger. So 
some wrinkles down here. I'm gonna make them a little smaller. I wanna make them. There's gonna be a lot of wrinkles right here. And it might help to turn off the small wrinkles layer. And make sure when that happens, you'll notice if you try to sculpt, this thing will pop up. Just click, that's because you're not in record mode for that specific layer. So just click this little circle icon and it'll go to record. But as you can see, I turned off that one layer, so there that, I don't have to look, worry about messing that layer up at all when I'm smoothing out like this. And I'm going to just get some wrinkles in like that. It's really helpful if you have like a bamboo tablet for this portion. Unfortunately, I don't. With that, you can use pressure sensitivity so you don't have to smooth out these ends or anything. It will just do it based off your pen pressure because ZBrush will use pen pressure. I'm going to add one right here, just along the bottom of the jaw, just following along where the, that last one, just following along where the skull shape is, I've, like I said, I've done dinosaurs before, so I, I pretty much know where these are supposed to be going should actually go up about that far. And I'm going to just quit at there so we can move on. You could add a whole bunch more. I just want to get one right there so got the nasal cavity kind of sagging around there since it's a bunch of skin right there. But you get the general idea. Just look at modern reptiles like photo dragons and other stuff just to see where wrinkles are going on them and that's a pretty good indicator of where they will be on a dinosaur. You can also look at big mammals like elephants. I'm going to go to clay build up. I'm going to add an ear in quick. Right there. And I'm going to use my big wrinkle brush to go around. And just smooth it out a little bit. We're going to turn on small wrinkles again. And with that, we're going. To, I'm going to go to the last step that I'm going to show in this video, which is adding scales. So I'm going to rename this scales, and I see I didn't name this layer, so I'm going to name it big wrinkles. But you want to be on scales. Now this one, I don't have an actual brush for, but I use the standard brush for this. And you want to go to drag rectangle and bring the intensity down probably. I usually go around 17. Now we went in alpha for this. There is no alpha within ZBrush for actual scales. So I'm going to bring one I have already at hand, some I have already at hand. That one, and I need to bring in a few more. So, for the main part of the body, you want an alpha kind of like this that has scales. I found this online, so just uh, Google scale alpha, or, and you should be able to find some. Then the rest of these I actually edited from this one alpha, these three right here. When this curved one is used for curved areas of the body, I basically just took this one right here, I masked it so it was a kind of straight line, and I dragged this over a little bit so it was curved. And then this one is just for filling in areas that are just long and straight. That's what this one was before I moved it over. And then this one is just for little areas that I miss putting scales in. 